hello everyone so basically in the last video we learned about auto layout and constraints in iOS 10 so in this video we will learn about a feature called stack view in iOS which makes it very easy to align our images and labels in our views so so that it can be viewed in all different iPhones and iPads so basically we will create an Xcode project and then I will tell you what are the powers of stack views I will create a new project it will be a single view application let's name this stack view language will be Swift and devices will be universal So this is our stack view project. I will change the simulator to success. And let's directly go to main.storyboard because there is nothing to code. We only want to implement stack view and see how it is very far very powerful in iOS 10. So basically first I will demonstrate huh, that why stack view is required. So what I will do is I will take four image view and put it in my view controller okay so these are four different image views so let's align them okay now I've, I will add four different images so for that I will have to go to my assets folder and then I will grab some images so I have stored my images here okay so I have six different images so let's select them all and grab it okay done we have all six different images but we only need four of them so let's assign them from here one for this and let's give it the second image third for this one okay and last image for this so basically you can see that there are now four images in our view controller so right now we are viewing this in an iPhone 6s so let's view it in iPhone 7 s so you can see that the images have gone a little bit towards the right side sorry to the left side the gap on the left side is less and right side is more this is because the width of the iPhone 6s plus or 7 plus is greater than 6s so let's now view this in iPhone SE which is smaller than the 6s so you can see that in this case the images have gone towards the right side and also the last image which is the fourth image is not clearly visible because the length of the iPhone SE is smaller than that of 6s now let's view it in the smallest iPhone which is 4s you can see that only two images are fully visible and the third image is half visible and fourth image is not visible and also there is one more thing if we try to rotate our screen let's go to success in which our images were fixing let's try to change the orientation this is orientation and let's change this so you can see that if I change the orientation you can see that it is not in center and also there are only two images visible so basically this is a problem in iOS so for this stack views are used so basically stack views will arrange th these images in such a way that it will be visible in all different size of iPhones and also 
in different orientation so let's start to learn how we can use stack views in iOS 10 so I will minimize this okay and I will open this right side and I will delete all the image views okay so for stack view what I will do is I will just type stack and you can see that there are two different types of stack views horizontal stack view and vertical stack view in this example we want a vertical stack view because images are below other which basically means this Im images are in different lines suppose Im if we, if we want the images to be in same line then we should have used horizontal stack view but in this case we want a vertical stack view so let's grab this one so let's place this in the center for now and now what we will do is we will grab some image views so I will take my first image view and let's grab this inside our stack view so you can see that as I have grabbed this inside my stack view it has automatically resized our stack view as well as it has taken the full size of the stack view so now what I will do is I will grab another image view and you will see that as I grab another image view the stack view will automatically resize and image view will go below the older image view so I think I should take the step step stack view a little bit above and then I will add two more image views to it so this is my third image view and this is my fourth image view okay so you can see that they are automatically aligned line by line now what I will do is I will add constraints to our main stack view so from this left you can select stack view and let's add some constraints I will do 0 from top 0 from left and 0 from right okay and then I will add three constraints and after that I will select both stack view and view and I will choose here equal heights okay I think we have done that equal heights okay done there's one error let's see okay it is done now what we need we actually want okay it's done we have set all the constraints for our stack view so let's select our stack view once again and in the right corner distribution should be filled equally because we want to give equal size to each of the image views and suppose if we don't want the stack view to be a full size of the screen what we can do is you can see that there is constraints and there is a height constraint you can see that stack view dot height and instead of one you can select 0.7 so 0.7 means the height will be 70 percent of the view controller so as soon as I press enter as soon as I press enter you can see that now the size of the stack view is only 70% of the view controller okay so it is still equally okay because we want to give equal spaces equal size to all image views there are different options that you want to try if you want and if and if suppose you want to give space between two image views then you can see that there is something called spacing you can just increase it and you will see that our space will increase but we don't want so many spaces I think I will just give it two points it is looking nice now what I will do is I will add down different images to it okay I will add four different images to our image views it is done 
so basically our work for the stack view is done now our stack view will work fine in all different iPhones iPads as well as in different audio orientation so let's try this by running in iPhone 6s first so I will build my application and let's see if there are some errors or not so we have got no errors so let's wait till the simulator will start it is taking up a lot time okay I think it's done let's wait for the application to load for the first time come on okay now you can see that the images are aligned as we did we did left zero from left zero from right and you can see that there is a two point space between all different images and also the size of the four Im images is 70 percent of the full view controller so now let now we will check this in different o orientation so for that what we can do is we can just go to I think it's hardware no debug no okay in hardware there's an option called rotate left and rotate light right so if we rotate down towards the right side you can see that the all constraints are same which means the total height of all the images is equal to 70 percent of the view controller and all the images are clearly visible let's make this again and for the left rotation it is also working perfectly fine so basically this means that this stack view is working fine for iPhone success in both the orientations so now earlier our images was images were giving problems for the smallest iPhone as well as iPhone SE so let's try to run our application in the smallest iPhone so I think I should run this in iPhone 5s and let's play this and now so we will see that by using stack views our work is so sim so simple that we don't have to do anything extra for iPhone 5s it will automatically align itself according to the stack views that I have set in the iPhone 6s so I think the iPhone is starting up so let's wait okay so now you so now you can see that this is a five this is a iPhone 5s which is smaller than the iPhone 6s and you can see that all the things are same stack view has automatically adjusted the width of the image and also the height so that it is clearly visible in this iPhone also now let's change the orientation you can see that it is also clearly visible so now I think stack view as are done for the iPhone now let's try to run this app in our iPad and see whether it is working fine in iPad also so I think I will choose iPad Air 2 and I will play my application I think this is the first time we are running any app in iPad so I think it will take a lot of time to load so let's wait till then oh it's very large so I think I should made it small you can change the size by pressing command 4 command 3 command 2 or command 1 so I will choose command 4 which is the smallest size so that it can fit into my screen the iOS 10 is booting up so let's wait
okay so you can see that this is an iPad and let's try to zoom this so you can see that it is looking very beautiful this is an iPad if you scroll left or right you can see that images are clearly vi visible and there is a two point space between them and you can also see that if you zoom out you can see that the height of the total image view is equal to the 70% of the whole view controller let's now change the orientation so I think it is also looking good let's I think I should do two no not two it should be three okay you can see that here are the different Im images and it is looking nice so basically what we have seen is that it is working fine for both iPhone and iPads so this was about stack use in iOS 10 and you can also use text fields labels or buttons inside a stack view and the step and the process is similar as we did for the image views and one more thing that if you open this and if you select the stack view from here you can see that the axis is vertical you can also select an horizontal stack view by doing this horizontally so you can see that now the images are from left to right so basically in a horizontal stack view elements are starts from left and go to go towards the right side and if we choose the vertical axis then it starts from top and goes bottom okay so this was about stack views in iOS 10 and I will see you in my next videos where we will learn a new topic in iOS. Thank you for watching this video.